Hey guys, it's Larry Greenberg, and today we're going to take a look at the Element Case Vapor Dock. I had a chance to preview the Vapor Dock back at CES in January, and I walked away super impressed. I've made no secret of my love for everything Element Case makes, and the Vapor Dock is no exception. This dock is available in two finishes, either black or silver. Both of them feature Element Case's newest finishing for their products, which is called Flux. The Flux finish offers a satin smooth texture to everything they do. It is made from aluminum, features a integrated USB cable, as well as audio enhancement ports. Now the Vapor Dock sells for $119.99 in either color, making it a ultra expensive dock, but one that does not disappoint. So let's crack open this packaging so you can get a look at the Vapor dock up close. You can see the traditional element case presentation box. Here is the dock itself. We'll get to that in a minute. I'll remove the foam insert. There are a couple things you get inside here. You get the element case kind of manual sticker instructions, authenticity card and all that good stuff. You get an instruction manual. You get two spacers. I already have one installed and I'll get to those in a minute. And you get a little wrench. So let me kind of slide all this out of the way so I can show you the dock itself. Now the spacers, you do get two as I mentioned. One is meant to be used if you are not using a case, specifically an element case, on the back of your phone. The other, which I have inserted already in the little cavity in the back of the dock, is meant to be used if you are using an element case on your phone. The one that's inserted now is not as thick as this one, therefore it kind of you know gives more room Room. So I'm going to get that out of the way. Screwdriver is meant to remove the plate that is on the bottom. So I remove the cable. That allows you to take the 30 pin cable out should you need to. It is a little bit easier to put this spacer in and out if you remove the cable. And this Allen wrench allows you to remove the little plate that's on the back here so you can do so. So I'll get the wrench out of the way and show you the dock up close. It does come with this integrated 30 pin connector cable. Doesn't include the wall outlet, only the USB cable. So if you want to plug this into a wall outlet, you will need to use your own charger. However, if you want to plug it directly in your computer, you're good to go. Now the vapor dock is one of the things that you kind of have to see and hold just to see how great it is. It is substantially heavy. The weight is amazing. You really feel the quality of the aluminum product that's made into this dock because it just feels great in the hand. You can see the cavity that's carved out for the phone. I'll show you that up close in a minute. It does have this like suede platform in the back made out of that microfiber material. You can put things back there like little things if you want. SD card, I don't know, change. Things small will fit back there. Of course, there is the connector for the iPhone. Now this works with a bunch of different variations of the iPhone phone, the 4, the 4S, the 3GS. It'll even work with the iPod Touch as well. You can see here the audio enhancement ports on the front for the mic and the speaker so your sound comes through when it's plugged in there. On the bottom, you can see a cavity for winding up the excess cord. If you don't need all this, you can wind some of it up inside here and then you know have the remainder coming out through the little cutout there. Now the nice thing about this is you can use it both as a wall charger, plug directly into the wall, or directly into your computer for both charging and syncing. I've got my phone right here, this is my iPhone 4S with the Vapor Comp, the tactical edition uh, already on. As you can see, it slides in quite nicely. It feels very secure, very sturdy. It's not wobbly. When I move it, it doesn't feel like it's gonna tip over. It doesn't really move at all. It gets to this point, it hits that spacer, and then it just stays there. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, this is flat out the nicest dock I've ever used. And of course, at $119, you're probably saying it better be, but I've said it once and I'll say it again, Good things sometimes cost a little bit more, and that's certainly the case with everything Element Case makes. Pay a little bit more, but you get what is a absolutely incredible product in the end. So the Element Case Vapor Dock, again, is available in two different finishes, and I've got the silver version here. It is also available in a black version as well both for $119.99. I will put a link in the video description where you can learn more about the Vapor Dock. Should you have any questions about it, you know you can always drop me a line. Otherwise, please have a great day. 
please be sure to watch my two latest videos. Please like this video, leave a comment below, and of course subscribe for more content.